welcome to SFX Central with me. Henry Chis Hi guys and welcome to SFX Central with me, Henry. So in today's video we'll be creating an open wound effect on our arm. It's really easy and really simple and it's great for any beginners. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is liquid latex. I found mine at Amazon online and it was really easy to find and it's a litre bottle. And you are also going to need some brushes. I will preferably use a big one to apply like the foundation-y stuff and this to paint with and that for details. You're going to need a sponge to blend and just add effects and stuff. So the next thing you'll need is red face paint, any brand, um, any type really, but it has to be red if you want it to be like the bloody internally colour. You will also need a palette including colours like reddy pinks, blacks, skin tones and I'm using Colours by Technic Complete Makeup Palette to do my look. You will also need some fake blood to make it look realistic. You can use any type, you could use scab blood, light blood, thick blood, dark blood. Or your own blood. You will also need some isoproblem blur or rubbing alcohol to remove it or clean it up. And finally you will need some scissors to cut into the latex to create the base of the wound or an easier option is to just cut into the skin and that's the look done. Hee <laughs> No seriously. Let's go on to the tutorial. So, to begin with, you want to apply a patch of liquid latex on your arm and you want to do about four or five layers of this. The size of the patch will affect the size of your wound. And as you can probably notice in the corner of the screen, you can see my latex spilling out everywhere. So I'm using a blow dryer to speed up the process of drying in between each layer. It's really saved me a lot of time, so I'd recommend that to you. So now I'm cutting a slit in the liquid latex, and an easy way to create a starting point is by rubbing the liquid latex, and it will create a hole, and you can start cutting from that hole. So now I've got my base, I'm applying my red paint in the middle of the wound. I am getting that under all of the latex and all of the crevices. So now I'm taking these two foundation shades and I am mixing them together to create my skin tone and I'm applying that over the liquid latex to make it look natural and realistic. I'm blending it into my arm to make more of a smooth transition. So now I'm taking this shade of black and applying that around the edges of my wound to create depth in the wound. I'm blending that out to make it look more realistic and I'm dragging it in towards the middle. So now you will want to take this pinky red shade and apply that around the edges to make the skin look more irritated. So now I'm applying my fake blood in all the four corners of my wound and I'm using my brush to spread out all the blood and blend it in. I'm now applying it to the middle of my wound using it from the outer edges and bringing it in. So now I'm ripping up a sponge and stippling that all over the edges to make it look more bruised. There you go, your very own wound. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember to leave a comment down below on what you would like to see in future videos. I can do films, TV shows, you name it, I'll do it. Bye Felicia!